there! So when we last left our hero, uh, me, I was hanging out in New Orleans, and the puppeteers for the Muses Parade had no place to stay. I'd called all my friends in the area, but at this last minute, everybody was full up. I decided to meet up with one of my street performer friends, Mandy Kitty Chaos. I've been so spoiled by the stage and having you know, a ready, right, you got a drunk audience, audience yeah. and I'm supposed to, you know, all my routines are like three to ten minutes long, and I've been just so dying to do street shows again, but it's like, I can't hang with these animal. guys, yeah. you know, so I'm trying to warm up to it. I met the Transformer that way, like, he came up to me later, and he's like, hey, and I'm like, hi, what's your name? And he's like, I'm blah, 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 I'm the Transformer, I'm like, you are? You're nice and we're friends. One of the reasons I love New Orleans is the street performing community. The performers work together instead of working against each other, which is pretty rare in the U.S. Like, as I'm spending all this time with all the street performers and just getting tired of not getting to do what I love to do because I'm working so hard to do what I love to do, and not where I want to be with it, but I don't have time to really practice it because I'm too busy like playing catch up and like mm -hmm. I gotta work on just this trick so it's ready for this show. That's what sucks about being stationary. Mm -hmm. Whereas I've done the same routine for 10 years. <laughs> I just find new audiences to give it to and they're like, ooh, that's fresh. Yeah. It's brand new to them. Brand new to them. <laughs> because now all I want to do is just like travel with really talented people and work on stuff and hop trains and do all that. <laughs> well, speaking of getting somewhere with juggling, why don't we get somewhere with juggling? Okay. <laughs> it's really cool to be in a position to see younger performers as they rise. Mandy's one of those people that have it, and if she keeps going in this direction without self-destructing, she's gonna be successful. Uh, what do you want to do? Every others? Every, um, you know, every four other. count? I don't know how you... How do you count? Do you count West Coast or East Coast? Yeah. It's the lingo. It's juggling lingo. <laughs> What's up, pins? What are you, bowling? They're called clubs. Clubs. <laughs> it was great to meet up with Mandy and get in some juggling. But now it's time to head back and get fitted for my butterfly puppet. Looks like everyone's here now. Uh, let me in. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Let me in? I'm, I'm with the butterflies. Anyone? Oh. oh. Well, I had actually gotten to this gate and looked. I have not seen that there was the right gate. Okay. Butterfly compound. I was a butterfly last year for the parade, and it's great to be back and see all my friends. <laughs> You've come to the right place. <laughs> the genius behind the butterfly and the shoe puppets is Gabriel Q, a puppeteer from Vermont. He was commissioned by the crew of Muses in 2007, and his puppets have been, for lack of a better word, the muse of the parade ever since. You can't see the muses because they're eternals, but you might see their accessories. <laughs> and so the shoes are the sh all you can see of the muses walking over the heads of the crowd in the parade. One of my favorite things that happens in the Mardi Gras parade is that um, people bring these step ladders with a box on top that children sit in. Their little children sit in the boxes, and these puppets can fly, zoom right into the kids eye to eye with them. And the kids just, you see it, you see the energy of the puppet go into the kid and they kind of blow up like, like inflatable. You know, they just go like, whoa! There used to be more of a thrill for me in staging the parade, just that we can pull it off at all, and the magic, the, you know, we were caught up in the magic of what we were presenting. But over time, that changes, and you know, we've done it now for 10 years, and now the pleasure really is in just watching how excited people get. I mean, people are screaming, they're ripping their clothes off, they're, they're insane. I mean, they, they want to be insane, and they've been insane all day, and then, then the butterflies come, and it's a real crescendo for them.